Hi there, and welcome back to another episode at Station Road. Now, in today's episode, we are going to continue on with the scratch built signal box build. And I can assure you, in today's episode, there of course will be no profanities. So just to recap on where the signal box build is at, of course we got to all the main structure and actually started doing some of the finer details, mainly the exterior details and so forth. In today's episode now we actually continue on and complete some of the interior details plus also some of the lighting. So of course one of the first things I needed to do in terms of the interior detail is of course we had the lever frame structure and of course that had the movable levers and so forth that we could position in the positions that we wanted the levers in but of course there was the upper section to this lever frame so I did a design which is purely representative only it is not really based on any actual structure itself but commonly obviously these lever frames had this upper structure of course which had dials gauges bells and sometimes oft often a track plan as well on top so I knocked together a wee design on the computer that was laser cut out and assembled now I didn't go as far as actually doing all the stuff that sits on top of the shelf so the track plan and things like that because I sort of realized in the end because this is up quite high it's just really not seen through any of the windows unless you get down very low to look up so I didn't actually bother with doing any of that detail and I also just really want to get this project finished so once I'd actually assembled that unit uh, it was a case of actually putting together some of the other furniture items within the actual signal box itself so I wanted a wee desk and of course a set of plan drawers often you might have found plan drawers in there which would obviously have plans of the track work and so forth maybe showing the different sections of the line and these are all just assembled using layers of laser cut card I think 2.2 mil card and then of course what I did is actually just found some images of furniture like draw units and things like that on the internet scaled them down printed them out on sticky label paper and of course wrapped them around these blocks or layers of heavy card there were other processes as well which included of course painting this upper lever frame section and of course there were some other elements as well which I had in my collection so things like 3d printed chimney pots there was also some a small chair for a desk and also like a comfy lounge chair as well now these are all sort of 3d printed items that I've collected over the years and then it was a case of actually installing all of these components so there was the installation of course of the lever frame unit itself then of course once that was done it was a case of installing the upper lever frame unit so that's the, the sort of the shelf unit up above and of course adding in these furniture items that I created plus the pre-made items as well adding the chimney pots to the roof once of course they'd been painted up and then it was a case of moving on to the lighting so with the lighting these were very small micro LEDs or at least one LED inside the signal box this was where the wires were sandwiched between paper which could be, then be used to actually glue this mount this to the underside of the roof there was a small outside light with the door and the steps are of course that was pre-made I can't remember where I got it from it was off Amazon or AliExpress very cheap items and once all of those items were installed inside the interior of the signal box and the wiring is fed down in the corners of the upstairs level and fed through small holes that were drilled in the floorboards 
fed those wires through I could then secure the upper and the lower parts of the signal box together and of course with all the wiring hanging out the bottom that was tidied up and soldered all together and soldered in with a JST plug so of course what I can actually do is if need be I if I need to remove the building from the layout I can just unplug it from underneath So with the interior complete and the lighting added, 
there was one final touch to be added to the exterior of the signal box. Of course I couldn't do this until the two halves of the signal box were actually fixed together and that of course was the gangway or walkway that runs around just below the upper windows. Now I don't know what the correct terminology is of this particular sort of walkway or gangway that runs along there. So once again laser cut material this was from 1.3 mil high density card and little L brackets that were cut out to support it and I pillaged some hand railing from I think it was a Fella kit so they are plastic hand railing and I did attempt to try and bend the hand railing at each of the ends now I used a bit of heat to do this but it kind of worked but for some reason it keeps coming back out so I probably should have used some kind of wire hand railing but I think it will suffice. So those components are all assembled together so there was the actual plank on the top or the walkway plank, the L brackets were glued underneath and then this hand railing was added around the outside edge and then of course once I'd done that and the glue was set it was a case of actually spraying over the whole unit with some black paint and then of course I just went over it with some brown acrylic paint for the main walkway or deck area. So with those components installed and with the lighting operational it was a case of putting on the layout and having a look to see what it looked like with the main railway room lights off and it most definitely looks the part. I may actually introduce a different size resistor just to dim the lighting down a little bit. It could possibly be just a little bit too bright but in saying that to my visual eye it looks pretty good obviously it just overexposes when it comes to the video footage so I think I can safely say this signal box is complete which means one thing I can get back to the viaduct now so we left off with doing some of the base layers of static grass and so forth and overgrowth on this disused viaduct so the next video will be getting into some of the more established bushes possibly even small trees and so forth that are growing up through the track bed so I'll be looking forward to getting back into the disused viaduct. So I certainly hope you've enjoyed today's episode and gained some inspiration and ideas for your own layouts. And of course this really relates to the entire series for this signal box build. So I'll leave it there for today's episode. Do take care, look after yourselves. Of course don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.